my loves and welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to you guys with my February wantable unboxing and I opened this at work a couple days ago because I actually returned my January box and I kind of wanted to see what I got but I don't remember what I got so it's kind of like unboxing it again I didn't swatch anything I think I just opened it and looked at some stuff and had to put it away because I you know my break was over but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and of course it comes with the list of things that comes in the box it's personalized to you let's hope that this is true and that i will like this box a lot better than last month's box okay so the first thing i see here is a all natural or a natural i think this is a blusher yeah this is a blusher and i received i think i think i received the bronzer last month and i wasn't too happy with it it came to me already opened and messy it was just the box was dirty like it everything so let's see i saw the box i didn't even open it it's called hawaiian hibiscus blusher it's six grams of product so that's a good amount okay so i put some on the lid and you could see that it's very shimmery so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this this is wow this is very shimmery I'm not really into loose products like that. They're very, very messy. Um, I don't mind putting them in a pan though. So this blusher doesn't seem too bad. I'm not gonna go all, you know, ape crazy just because, you know, I got a blusher from the same brand. I got a bronzer and actually this blusher is really pretty. It is a pink with an obvious glow to it. It's got a shimmer. Um, I wanna say it's like a silvery style shimmer almost. Um, I don't know. It's probably not something I'm going to reach for and use a lot, but it is really pretty. So you never know. Summer's right around the corner. I hope the all natural loose powder blush in Hawaiian hibiscus is $24. And this is not something that I would spend $24 on because it is not something that I reach for. I like my pan, my blushers in a pan along with my bronzers. I just feel like that's just my preference, but I will keep this. So that's good. Um, the next thing I see here is from Sorme Treatment Cosmetics. I think that's how you say it. There's a ch over the E. <laughs> um, Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Okay, the box is brown, so I'm wondering if this mascara is brown. Let's see. Sorme. Huh. Ooh. This is a really nice, it's very gunmetal. Um, kind of heavy, not too heavy. And it's in black brown. I don't mind actually um, black brown mascaras. Ooh, okay, so when you open it up, seems like the brush is really, really soft because the way it comes out, it's got no scent to it. The wand is a good size wand. It's not too large, but it is not small either. And it is bristles rather than it being rubber bristles. It's a brush. Um, I don't know how this mascara would be. I can't wait to try it out though. I do. I don't mind wearing the brown uh, mascaras for days that I'm going light or barely wear any makeup. It's just when I need to look a little alive. So I'll give it a go. It's not bad. The Sorme Extreme Volumizing Mascara is $20. So this is pricey, but it is, you know, whatever it is. The next thing I got here is from Frankie Rose, and it's another lip liner. And I got one last month as well. <laughs> Gee, you wantable. Y'all wanted me to return this box too? Um, and wow, this is bright. Uh, the color is in Hot Stuff. Already loving the name. Okay, so this lip liner looks like something I would like. Oh, oh, this is pretty. Very creamy. I'll do a nice swatch for you guys. I'm barely tapping it onto my skin like... I'm barely tapping it on to get the color. I barely used up the tip. This is really pretty. I thought this would be more of an orangey tone. This is a coral pinky red. Oh, I love this color. This reminds me of Karina from the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. If you have Karina, this is what that color looks like. Beautiful. Okay, I like this. The Frankie Rose Define Seduction Lip Liner and Hot Stuff is $18. So, glad I got this. So the next thing and the final thing I have in the box is from Bodyography Pro, and it is a brush. Ooh, and this looks like the 217 brush. It is flat, and it's got like a longer tapered blending thing. It is 
retails for $10. So this is a good brush. I love brushes like this, of course. <laughs> it looks similar to the Sigma E25, except it is thinner. But it's got the same kind of shape. So that's going to be added to my collection. I'm really excited. That I like. I like getting brushes. Not the retractable ones so much, but I don't mind getting brushes. So that's pretty much it for my Wantable box. I actually like two out of the four products in the box. I know for a fact that I will put use to those. As far as the Sore May um, mascara, I will put use to it. I just hope I like it. And the All Natural blusher, I might as well put it in my to use section so I can actually use it. But it is a really pretty blusher and I'm not complaining. So that's pretty much it guys for my February Wantable box. If you want to see the links down below of all the subscriptions that I have, feel free to do so. And anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.